This is the pr basic premise. You have a strong stock, makes a big move. It doesn't matter if this is a one month move or a three month move or a six month move, doesn't matter the time frame, but it has to be in the top one or two percent of the strongest stocks in that time frame. And then what happens is they usually pull back, right? Pulls back, and then you have a moving average. This may be the 10 day, the, the simple 10 SMA, or the 20 SMA, or the 50. The best ones are the 10 and 20, okay? And then it gets tight. Then it starts getting tighter and tighter. Goes sideways, starts building higher lows. It's just surfing the moving average. Again, the moving average is usually the 10, 20, or sometimes the 50. I may mostly do the 10 and 20, mostly the 20 ones. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple, or actually several uh, uh, perfect examples, which I traded myself. And then they break out of this tight range. And the best ones are the ones that show relative strength, like the ones that can't break, that, that can't go lower, even if the markets overall, like the indices overall are showing weakness and going lower. And these things just, you know, they can't break lower, or they may even be building higher lows. 